Welcome back folks. In the previous video we were wondering whether we can connect our production instances to the internet through a shared services VPC and the question was whether we can send traffic all the way from production through shared services to the internet. Will this work? No, it will not work. The reason for that is Amazon calls this as edge to edge routing. That is you're using shared services as a kind of an edge router in this use case, whether it is for production or dev, you cannot use shared services to send your traffic to the internet. And they have written a nice article about it and they have given all the invalid pairing connections that can happen in real life scenario. And in our use case, this scenario is detailed broadly as edge to edge routing through an internet gateway. And they say that in this case, VPC B will not be able to send traffic to the internet through VPC A. So what is the solution for this problem? So let us say we have a shared services here and instead of a shared services, we need to build something called as a transit VPC. And there's an URL on your screen. You can go ahead and see how to build a transit VPC for your use case. So let us take a simple scenario of two dev and prod VPCs. So we'll, we build a transit VPC first and then we create a network virtual appliance. There are a lot of third party appliances available in the market or you can build your own appliance with uh, uh, open source software also. So once you build a network virtual appliances, the next step is to configure VPNs for your prod and dev VPCs. In the VPN, you will be uh, giving the routes so that all the traffic can be sent to your network virtual appliance and the appliance will have the routes to send the traffic to the internet and return them back to the dev and prod VPCs. So this is a typical configuration that you use it for a demo purpose. But when you want to go for production, what you typically do is you will want to have high availability for your virtual appliances. So you will build them uh, into a multi AC deployments more than one and then you will configure health checks and other things. And apart from the health checks and multi AC deployment, you will also configure your VPC pairing so that not all traffic has to go through your VPN and any other traffic that doesn't need to go to the internet can communicate using the VP, VPC peering itself. So that is how you set up uh, traffic from your production VPC to the internet through a transit VPC. In this use case, I was just shown only two VPCs, but you can connect multiple VPCs to your transit VPC also. So go ahead, check it out. And if you have any questions, put in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with that with you. Have a nice day.